Hello, this tutorial will introduce CQP Web's uh, thin query function. Um, so this is one of the processes that we can apply to the results of a query. So let's start by running a query and let's make it one of a pretty frequent word so that it will have lots and lots of results. Uh, I'll pick have just for the sake of example. So if we run a query for have, then in this 2 million word corpus we will get lots of examples, yes. 31,200. Now, realistically, you are probably not going to be able to analyse manually 31,200 examples. You probably wouldn't get a huge amount out of analysing 31,200 examples. After you've analysed the first 20,000, you've probably seen it all. So CQP Web has a function to reduce the number of hits in a query uh, in such a way as to get a smaller set of examples to apply a manual analysis to. Now if you're applying an automatic or statistical analysis then there's no need to thin the query. You can just run it on all 31,000 or however many matches. But if you want to do a manual analysis then thinning may well be useful. The thin option is on this menu here on the concordance screen. So select thin and press go. And you get this little form here. Basically you can insert here the number that you want. Um, so let's say 5,000 just for the sake of argument. Might just as easily be 500 or 100 and then you press thin this query. And before too long we have an exact 5,000 hits. So we've got 50 solutions per page and 100 pages. That's 5,000 hits. Uh, and just as with any query, what we call a pulse process, something that you can apply after running a query, what you've done is listed on the top bar there. So here is the report for the original query you ran, and now we are looking at it thin, so it says thinned with method random selection to 5,000 hits. Um, what does it mean with method random selection? Okay, in order to explain that we have to go back to the thin screen again. Now note that if I go to thin from here I'm applying another thinning to this already thin set. I don't undo the first set of thinning if I thin again. And you can see here that at the top it says current number of instances 5000. So that shows that I'm thinning the thinned query. I'm not Un, I'm not going back to the original query. If you want to go back to the original query then you would have to either use back in your browser or go to the new query uh, and then use your query history to get the full set of results again. But yes, I was going to come back to this screen and then talk about uh, thinning method. That's what this control is here. Um, now when, um, when it said in the top bar of the thinned query thinned with method random selection, that's what this refers to. The thinning method random selection is reproducible. The alternative is random selection is not reproducible and we'll look at that in a minute. Let me just explain what the difference is between these two. A thin is always done randomly. That is, if you say you want 5,000, then which 5,000 you get is a random. It's, it's, it's not determined uh, in any way in principle, it's a random subset. The difference between these two is that if you use selection is reproducible, then you will get the, uh, uh, a predictable 5000 in the sense that if you did the same query from scratch and then did random selection is reproducible, you would get the same random 5000, right? So it's deterministic, if you like. Um, random, yes, because you don't know in advance which 5,000 it's going to be, but reproducibly random in the sense that if you do it again, you'll get the same 5,000. On the other hand, if you say selection is not reproducible, then starting again with the same query, we're, we're talking about the same query here, you would get a different set of 5,000 
every time you read this procedure if you use the selection is not reproducible. And the difference between these two, if you'll allow me to get a little bit technical for a minute, has to do with um, uh, how computers treat randomness, basically, because um, uh, the um, computers are not essentially very good at doing things randomly. Um, for a computer to uh, do something random, you have to give it some randomness to begin with. Um, so the way this works in CQP Web is that when you do a random thin, uh, the randomness is created based on a seed, and the seed is a number that is fed in. Um, uh, now, if you use random with reproducible, with a reproducible selection, then the seed that is used for randomization is uh, always the same number. It's always 42, in fact, uh, for certain pop cultural reasons. On the other hand, so that's with random selection is reproducible. It always uses a seed of 42 for the random number generator. On the other hand, if the selection is not reproducible, then um, uh, if the seed uh, is not reproducible, then you get a genuinely random number from the computer's internal random number generator, and that number is used for the randomness. So that's basically how it works. Um, so let's try it with a non-reproducible randomness this time, and let's take it down to 4,500. Uh, thin this query. just so that we can see the difference. So here's our thinned query, twice thinned. The first time it was thinned with method random selection, and then the second time it was thinned with method random selection non-reproducible. And there we get 90 pages of 50 hits, so it has been fill, fill, uh, thinned down to 4,500. Let's take a look at that just one more time to show that you can enter a percentage here, as it says, number of instances or percentage, as well as just a number. So let's say we want a third, 33%. Um, if you type a number, then the system will work out on its own how many hits that ought to be. Uh, thin. And there we go, thinned to 1650, which is indeed uh, one third. Okay, so uh, that's all on the thin function uh, of CQP Web. Thanks very much.